Hi, this is Dr. Chinmay Rathor. Uh, I'm a professor at the Indian Institute of Forest Management in Bhopal, India. And in this tutorial video, I will be very briefly talking about a very exciting tool, an online tool called as Land Viewer, made available uh, by a company called as Earth Observing Systems or EOS. And you can access this tool right in your browser by typing httpscos.com slash lv. I've provided the link in the description. So this tool is very exciting on two counts. One is that using this tool, you can download free satellite imagery uh, from Landsat 8, Landsat 7, and the earlier Landsat satellites. Very conveniently, you just have to draw an uh, area of interest and press a button and uh, the satellite images will be downloaded on your computer. You can even choose the bands that you want to download and merge them all in a single file. And the second reason why this tool is very exciting is that it permits you to do a lot more than just simply download. For example, it can permit you to do some image analysis in your browser itself here. For example, you can calculate NBVI, SAVI, EVI, indices such as these um, right here in the browser and then download the results uh, on your computer and then um, visualize them in your GIS software. It permits you to do a lot more like create time series and animated uh, pictures. But in this video, I will be talking only about these two functionalities. So let us start. So let's start. You can start by clicking this button and it tries to get a sense of your location and opens up a map and the tool. So in part one, um, I will show you how to download a Sentinel or and a Landsat 8 satellite image. So once it has a sense of your location, it broadly, you know, kind of throws up a map at you. And this is a map of India. Um, and you can very quickly reach your city just simply by typing um, the name of your city and trying to search for it. So it has located uh, an area for me, which is the city of Bhopal, and I'm interested in this particular area. Uh, the first thing that I want to do is to narrow down uh, my area of interest. So I can demarcate it using three tools here, four in fact. If I already have a shape file, I can upload an area of interest, either as a shape file or a KML file. Otherwise, I can just simply draw it using a rectangle tool, a polygon tool, or a circle tool. So you can just click on the rectangle tool and just simply choose an area. If you're not happy with it, you can just simply adjust it accordingly and save it. So once you save, an area of interest. If you're not interested, you can close it. Otherwise, you can save it. I press save. And if you click on this button, it will just show you uh, the AOI that you have just saved. And you can rename it. So this can be called Bhopal City Large Area A. Or I or anything that you want and the idea is that if you lose this you can always come back to this button and click on it and you'll get back your area of interest okay likewise uh, for the polygonal tool so you can start and then create a polygon if you're interested to create a polygon when you come back to your first point that polygon is finished and you can save it or otherwise, you can create an area of interest using the circle tool. So go to the center of the area of interest and then just create a circle. This might be useful in situations like uh, environmental impact assessment. And as you increase the circle, it also shows you the area that the circle is covering from the central point. So any of these uh, can actually be used to create an area of interest. So I'm bringing back my area of interest and I can go back to uh, the scene search by clicking on this particular button here. Now, once I have my area of interest, 
I can further filter the images that are available to me. First, by a range of dates. If I was interested between two dates, I can also choose the census, whether day or night or whatever. And if I was interested only in Sentinel and Landsat images, 8 and 7, I can switch off everything else, such that the number of scenes that are available to me is reduced or filtered and I don't have to go through a large number of scenes. I can also choose how much cloud cover I can bear in my image. So I've chosen 20% or less. And what you can immediately see is that my search has now been narrowed down. Uh, I have an image for 6th of November. And one more important point is if I go back again, I can choose to cover my full AOI or area of interest or only part of it. So I'm interested to do my full AOI. So that further reduces the number of images that are available to me. I have uh, the closest image that I have is of 14th October 2019. This is Landsat 8 tier one product, which is a very high uh, quality product. Uh, and I also have a Sentinel image for 14 October 2019. I have one for 9th October and so on and so forth. So I can actually choose from 352 images uh, which will go back in dates. So let me just click on this one and sure enough you will see the satellite data for 14th October 2019 that has been captured by the OLI sensor on Landsat 8. Now if I want to download this, I will need to create an account which I already have done. So when you press the download button, uh, that's all you have to do. You can uh, download a picture which is in the visual segment. So you can download it as GPG or KMZ or GeoTIFF file. So you can go to analytic and uh, we can choose to download individual bands. Uh, So what happens here is that the image will be um, subsetted and while downloading you can choose the band. So I'm choosing near infrared, short wave infrared. These are OLI bands. So blue, green, red, infrared, short wave infrared. I can come down here and I'm not interested in the other bands. Maybe I will download the metadata as well. So two more buttons here, interesting. One is that as you download, it will, when you click on this button, uh, it will merge the bands into a single file. If you uncheck this, it will download them as individual bands. So I'm going to check this. So, and by clicking this button, it's also going to subset the image. So once I'm happy, I can just press download. And a small message comes. Uh, and Soon enough, uh, you should be seeing a small dialog box for downloading. Uh, there it is. And if I press OK, so this is possible because I have already logged in. And if you haven't created an account, it will give you a simple form. You have to provide your name, email, uh, something like that. And it will give you a password and it will create an account for you. So once done, uh, you can just simply download. So when you click on it, uh, it starts downloading. And once downloaded, this is how you will see the image. So you can just simply, this is the metadata, just providing all the details about when this image was taken and uh, many other technical parameters. And this is the image itself. So you can just simply bring it into the GIS environment and drop it and the image is available to you so this is a big image and this image is available to you and i'm using qgis and you can go into properties and then choose what you want to see so i'm going to do a false color composite red and green 432 
um, and I'm going to apply a stretch. And so this is uh, the image that is available on 14th of October 2019 from Landsat OLI. And this is how you can download it very simply uh, into on your computer and then see it in the GIS environment. This is how you can download satellite images. Uh, the second thing that I wanted to show in this tutorial video is that Land Viewer has the has a great capability to um, process data right here in the browser itself. So if you click on this button, band combinations, uh, you can see a large number of indices that are available to you. Uh, for example, NDVI, normalized difference vegetation index, soil adjusted vegetation index, EVI, and so on and so forth. If you uh, just press on this button, it will not only show you the formula for normalized difference vegetation index or whatever index that you are trying to explore, it will tell you details about it. Uh, say for example, SADI, you can just come here and you can see the formula and these band numbers are specific to Landsat 8. If you are looking at um, Sentinel, these band numbers would be different. So what you can do here is that if say for example you wanted to calculate SADI you can just click on this and within a very short span of time it calculates a SADI image for you and this is the le legend and you can make measurements and you can click on this button and click to find out what is the uh, the SADI value so uh, and if you want to download the SAVI image, you can just click on the download button and it again takes you back right here and you can just come to indices, click on SAVI and press download. So as you can see, uh, the image will be cropped and all I have to do now is to just press download. So the important thing is to come to indices, click on the index that you are interested in and press download. So the same message will appear that appeared for downloading satellite images and you have a huge number of indices. The image has been downloaded. You can just click on it and just come here and open it in your GIS environment and there it is. So. Uh, when you click on the image, you will see the value and you can display it in pseudo color inside the GIS or image processing environment. And there you are. So this is how you can actually perform image analysis right here in Land Viewer. And you have a huge number of indices to choose from and you can then download all that data back again. So um, you can explore some other options. For example, it permits you to do time series analysis or change detection. And uh, using this tool, you can actually see how things have changed between two dates. I'm not covering that, but you can see the documentation of Land Viewer uh, for all those details. It can also permit you to create stories, which means animated images. Uh, so you can explore all these options by reading the documentation, which can be available from here. So if you click on this, you should be able to get a lot of documentation. You, you can see the user guide, you can take a tour and learn more about this particular tool. So thank you very much for watching. And I'm sure using this tool, you can um, do a lot of really good image processing activities. Thank you very much.